Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to episode 8 of my Minecraft Season 4 LP. Okay, this episode we are... <laughs> we are pranking Paul Soros Jr., whose house I am a neighbor of. And let me go back to the start here and show you guys what's up. Alright, so here's the front of his house. Well, okay, first off, while he's been gone on his trip, he's... Oh, do I need to go harvest more of that? Yeah, I guess I do. Uh, I've been checking in on his farm and being a nice neighbor and harvesting his crops and breeding all his stuff and sticking it in his farm chest right here. And that's actually gotten... Let me just deposit some of this cobble for him. Whoa, whoa, hey! Hey, buddy! Oh, that doesn't pause the game anymore. I was just trying to turn the sound down a little bit. And that Peaceful was for me being on my test world, testing something, but obviously Peaceful has no effect on the Minecraft server. Uh, yeah, let me drop some of this stuff off here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll harvest this real fast for him. So, in addition to being a nice neighbor and stocking his uh, farm chest up with all the stuff that would have been growing and he would have harvested had he been online... I've also decided that I this is a perfect chance to prank him, especially because I've already tweeted about it. And server seems kind of laggy right now. How's my ping? Eh. Uh, let's throw all that in there. Okay, good. Close that. Uh, but I'll come back. I'll do this later off camera. You guys don't want to watch me farm. I'm pretty sure you want to watch me doing shenanigans down here in the cave that I've made. I am making a player a dugout cave. That's I'm trying to make it look like a natural cave here. Uh, there's dirt and there's uh, stone and gravel and I'm going to take up all the torches when I leave and this has already been blocked. This back here is already uh, all dark. It's just for monsters to spawn. And actually, you know what? I think I'll make this go this way as well. And it should connect over here. I hope I'm going the right way. The server seems slightly laggy. I'm noticing ghosted blocks here. Yes! Good. Okay. I want that to reconnect right there. So hopefully a creeper can spawn in this little tunnel area and fall down on his head if a creeper spawns in here. There we go. Okay. Some more dark space back here for stuff to spawn. So hopefully something will spawn back here. And I put a, a cobblestone block there. And I think I'll put one... Uh, here. There. Yeah, there. That'll keep it blocked off. And I'll remove those as I go to leave. Okay, so here's a room. I carved all of this out. I have worn out... Well, you saw how much cobblestone I had on me even after throwing some stuff in his chest uh, and I put all this water here making like a little pond down below uh, so I come down here and I carved this all this out and then this and I'm just trying to make it into like a natural cave and we got some water flowing down here now this part right here is where natural cave actually begins and so we're gonna see just how far it leads because I might use it uh, depending on how far back it goes and at the very end, yeah, this looks good. At the very end, I'd like to put, is this the end? Okay, good. This will do. This is deep enough, I think. So I'm going to clear all this out, and I have some glass and some bricks on me. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what that means. Ooh, some coal. Tell you what, I think I'll leave this here for him so he can mine it out. Let me see how much coal it is. Because I don't even... Yeah, I don't even have space for another coal stack. I mean, I do, but... Um, so I'll expose this big coal vein for him and he'd let him take it. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to mine all this out. And then I think in the corner here, I'm going to make a fleecy box. And then put something inside there. I'm not sure. Uh, 
And let's leave this call for him. And I think, do I have maybe some... Uh, let me think here. I think I've got some iron ore on me, yeah? Yeah, let's throw some iron ore in here to give him a little reward at the end of this cave. Something he can mine on his own. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, um, now we're going to put the fleecy box here. And I don't have too much brick on me. I might have to make it stretch. Uh, so let's see. Maybe right here. Move the torch out of the way. Oh, no, I need the torch back down so you guys can see what's going on. All right, let's get this out of here. So I know I can do a nine. I know I can do like the, the ti teeny little tiny one here. Uh... Oh, that's not big enough. Needs to be higher. Uh, damn it, I don't have enough stuff. I don't think I have enough stuff to make a, um, a full-size fleecy box. So I'll make a smaller one. Maybe one like this. I've used smaller ones before in places where there's just not enough room for a uh, full-size fleecy box, so it's not abnormal for me to do so. Uh, damn it, we don't have a chest with us. Let's make a quick crafting bench. Stick it down. Make a quick chest. Broop. There we go. And we can have a piece of that in there. And then we can fill this in with a glass. And I'll backlight it with a torch, I suppose. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let's put the torch down here. That'll backlight it and make it look pretty good. Um, and then fill all this in with the glass. Because he can still open the thing. Yeah, he can still open the thing. Now, what type of loot should we give him? Do you guys have any ideas? How about a... Uh, we could give them some buckets, maybe. Maybe some iron ingots. Maybe we could just toss that in there. Well, I don't know. Uh, maybe a stack of steak. I don't know. Do you guys have any idea for the loot? Tell you what, let me pause the recording real quick. Alright, there we go. Um, so, fleecy box is constructed. The loot has been placed inside. And that's a nice going to be a nice surprise when he gets back from his trip, I think. All right, and to find out what I put in there, you guys are just going to have to watch his video for when he finds it. Because I think that's part of the point of these pranks is to kind of cross-promote uh, and get you to watch the other people's video. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head out of here, and I'm going to go real fast and try and head out and not let any monsters spawn and ambush me. And whoop, we got to get all the torches out. We'll have to get all the torches and also remove the... M those cobblestones that I left. I don't want to forget them. Did I leave any torches up here? Okay, no. Alright, there we go. Take this one out. Take this one out. And then up here was the cobblestone. Yeah, here's the cobblestone. Mine that out. I'm just going to keep going. Uh, there we go. Get that out. And here's a chest. Hmm. <laughs> There's a surprise about this chest. Yep. Yep. You guys know what that is. And guess what? There's more. <laughs> There's more. They're all over the damn place. Okay. So that's another little surprise for Paul when he comes here. Uh, let me mine this thing out. Oh man, I gotta get out of here before stuff starts spawning. I hope stuff stuff spawns in here and it's a proper dungeon. Uh, okay. Alright, there we go. You know what Paul says about holes in the ground. Uh, they lead to adventure, right? Okay, so we got that fixed up. Alright, little miniature dungeon is ready to go. Uh, this is the first one I've made on this server, and honestly, I intend to make more. I think that's a great prank uh, coming from me, considering, you know, my history and what it is I'm known for in Minecraft, which is the Super Hostile series, mostly. Although I think I'm starting to be a more recognized lp -er coming out with uh, content of other video games besides Minecraft. And 
Anyway, all right. So that's the prank. Uh, and now I think we're pretty much done here. Oh, I do need to go back and... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to be a nice neighbor and just farm his stuff while he's gone. Because I think he has a normal day job. And he's also a father and a husband. And he's... He's got more responsibilities, probably, than most of us. So, you know, just help him out and cut down on his grinding time on stuff like this. I think it would be a nice gesture. Uh, and I really like Paul. He's uh, he's one of my favorite LPers. Uh, he always takes the fun path, and he has interesting stuff to, s stuff to say. Um, so, yeah, he's a good friend. I like Paul a lot. So I hope he enjoys this little prank, and it's not too much of a prank, actually. It's just like, here, here's some adventure and maybe some free stuff at the end. So, okay, is there anything else I want to do on this video? I don't... I think that's actually it. That's all I wanted to do today. Uh, yeah, I mean, unless you guys just want to watch me farm this kind of stuff, but I don't, I don't think you do. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I need to say today on this video? Or is there anything else I wanted to do? Um, I mean, I guess I could have filmed... I guess I could have filmed me caving. Uh, carving out... Well, not it wasn't caving. It was just me mining out stone. And it was not very terribly exciting. It was actually kind of tedious. I wore out... Uh, four iron picks in there. Yeah, I blew out. I blew through four iron picks, uh, carving out all that to make a, like a little dungeon for Paul to explore. So it was a lot of digging. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish doing another rotation through his farm to grind up some resources for him, and then I'll probably head back to my base and maybe do some branch mining, probably. All right. Uh, so that's it for this video. Uh, that's all the content I wanted to show today. Uh, that I thought was notable is me pranking Paul and making that fleecy box down there in that dungeon. I really can't wait till he gets back from his trip and he has a video and I get to see what his thoughts are on this. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys next video. And until then, take it easy.